most important parts of the big game is, of course, the food. I'm back with my fiance, Brandon, and we have Chris Cushing. Chris turned a hobby into a business. He's the owner of Cush's Homegrown, and he's here with some crowd pleasing recipes. Welcome to the show, Chris. This is going to be fun. Yes, it is. First, yeah. let's start off. Uh, you weren't always in the salsa business. No, I was. <laughs> I was a specialty woodworker for around 20 years. And what made you turn to this? Well, uh, as you know, the economy went in the tank. Nobody wants anything to do with cherry and mahogany. And sure. So my wife slapped me upside the head and said, Hey, you make, would the, not like that. <laughs> <laughs> you make the best salsa in the world. Get out there and try it. So we started off in uh, 2009, and now we're in over 250 stores. Wow, that's fantastic. All right, well, let's get, well, first let's talk about the different flavors here. Okay, we have a mild, medium, and hot. Then we have uh, the four new flavors that came out this year. We did a black bean and corn, a peach mango, a pineapple, and one that we call red zone. Now which red is zone in, is hotter than the hot? Hotter than the hot, <laughs> and it's made with red jalapenos and red bell peppers. And perfect for the big game with the red zone theme. Oh, yeah, huh? absolutely. There you go. We even have a football on the front. So. Oh, fitting. I know that your pineapple uh, got some pretty big uh, accolades. Yes, we just got uh, reviewed last week by the supermarket guru, and uh, we got a 93 out of a possible 100. That's great. And uh, we just got a fantastic score. He said it was one of the best fruit salsas he's ever had. It's impressive. And we could find this pretty much everywhere. Yes. Yep. Uh, we're in the Big Ys. We're in Geisler's. We're in Highland Parks. Uh, and all coming soon to Stop and Shop. Coming soon to Stop and Shop, yes. It's exciting. All right, well, let's get cooking. What are we making here? Okay, what we're going to make today is we're going to make Cush's Hot Bites. And what we do is we slice up jalapenos. We put them into uh, Tostito scoops. Okay. And if you want to put some of those in there. Sure. Just grab them, put them in one yep, at a time. One at a time. If you don't want them to be hot, you can leave out the jalapeno and use mild salsa. Okay. I feel what like we need we're doing, a little kick here. What we're doing today is we're making them so that they're medium, which means if you take out the core of a jalapeno, most of the heat is gone. <laughs> you want to take out the core and the seeds. Okay. And then when you slice it up, it's nice and clean. If you want it hot, you leave the seeds in. That's a great tip. And that's how I you didn't get, know that. get it hotter. That? No, I don't so know my way So what you're going to do over kitchen. here is you're going to put some uh, of cheese? the cheese on there. We'll use the spoon. Sure. Yep. <clears throat> See, we could cook. Everyone says that we don't know how to cook, but we're doing this just fine. We're, yeah, it's and good to have a celebrity guest chef here because we clearly, if we were on our own, this would be a disaster. And we're while we're doing that, I'm going to bring these out. These oh, are and they're already done, huh? Reheated. Okay, we can slide this right on here. Oh, the cheese melted yep. nicely. The cheese is melted there. We're going to take, and first of all, got to have your job. Okay. We're going to take, nice most job. people would have a, pretty good at this. don't have a pastry bag. Oh, we're improvising so here. So we're going this to improvise great. with a Ziploc bag. You cut off the corner. That's for you. I'm going, hold on. Oh, oh, salsa goes first. We're going to put some salsa first. What flavor are you using here? This is a medium salsa. And we're going yep. just like this? Yep. What do these go in the oven at? These go in at uh, 350, and you're just going to leave it until the cheese is melted. So... And for your guests, these jalapenos are pretty hidden, so if you have anybody that you don't like, you can give them a little spicy well, surprise. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice of you. Like I said, you can, you can use mild without the jalapeno for people who don't like spice or work it right a, up to the hot. If it's a household of Raven fans and somebody shows up in a 49ers jersey, <laughs> there you go. don't tell them about the jalapenos. Yeah, well, I think you should get a slice of habanero in there. So. <laughs> That's really up. All right. Chris, we have about a minute and a half left. Okay. Tell me about the other dishes we have here. What we have is we have a really easy chili recipe. Uh, that's on our website and on yours also. Okay. And then we have a seven-layer dip. I feel like you need a really big chip for that. That, spoon <laughs> it out onto a plate and go at it. And then lastly, we have a taco pizza over there. Um, that's really easy to make, and it's uh, a crowd pleaser. Everybody loves that. Let me ask you, uh, Chris, which is your favorite flavor? What do you go with? I go with the red zone. That's red really zone. I love the hot. Can you handle that? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. And all this obviously tastes best with Kush's brand salsa. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Chris, let me ask you, I know that you put salsa on just about everything. Can you incorporate it into breakfast? Oh, sure. you got scrambled eggs. You put it on there. You, have, you can make a frittata, you, uh, an omelet, western omelet. Perfect. Pretty good. Uh, so... 
And it's all natural, gluten-free, and we sweeten with honey. So. And it's also great that you're growing uh, the vegetables, a lot of yeah, the peppers, we, the tomatoes. We grow, we grow all the jalapenos that right. go into it. Uh, last year we grew 1,327 pounds. This year we're going to be over a ton. That's great. So. All right, we are going to try these at the end of the show. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for the assistance. Thanks for making these for me on Sunday night. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, I recently sat down with travel expert Allison Umbrick. She has plans for the honeymoon. We'll share that interview up next.